Hello and welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This is the KiCad course, and we're going to be going over flat schematics today. Now, this is kind of a misnomer because it's uh, it's kind of a workaround. We'll get into that a little bit. First off, let's talk about schematics, right? So we've also gone over the hierarchical schematics using the pages and everything here. Uh, and so we can use that to create multi-level schematics effectively with each page. So we create a page here. Each page ends up being a new file. And we can dive down into it. And then we can create, we can create nested pages. And it's turtles all the way down. Uh, <laughs> um, however, um, a lot of... That's the top level there. Traditionally, a lot of... A lot of schematics, a lot of schematic types are traditionally flat, where instead of having you know schematics where you pass signals, you know down into a page and then that can open up another another module and everything like that. Oftentimes you'll just have a schematic be a page, um, and then <laughs> you have the next page in sequence, and basically you end up having maybe a twenty-page schematic where. Um, you know, you have stuff on page one that might talk to, might end up hooking up to page two, seven, eight, thirteen, and fourteen, right? But it actually isn't drawing lines out of here, right? We don't add any hierarchical symbols or labels or anything like that, and we don't pass any signal, single signals physically. Now we can do the same kind of thing here. Um, we still need to create pages on the top level, but if we were going to really do it. Uh, similar to how how a lot of flat schematics do it, we just oops oh shoot let me try that again quick page one page one dot schematic call that page one all right so this is page one and then we we go in here we drop a component right. Um, Drop component, leave the sheet, and then we create uh, page two. And basically, then the the top level of this flat schematic is just listing all of the pages. It acts as effectively a a index of all the pages that are in it. And now the important thing here is in a hierarchical schematic we'd actually have you know if there's a signal that we needed to pass from here over to here we would do that at the top level we'd come back out to this top level hook up the diagram pull in the the hierarchical pins and then hook those up in this case this is where we use global labels so in this case we create a label maybe signal one great name there right we Hook it up here, Oops. and exit this sheet, enter this sheet, and then if we drop the same label, signal one, and then hook it up to something else here, then when you actually look at the connections in the netlist, signal one is going anywhere there's a signal one global label pin here, it's going to connect. Now, if you don't want to use global labels and you want to just pass signals within a sheet, we we can do that simply as well. We can just mouse over a, a, a wire, hit the L key, local signal. And the reason there's a difference here is that if you were doing a hierarchical thing, and say you had a page within a page, and you wanted to copy that page, you don't want all of the local signal to be hooked together, you just wanted to be hooked together on their specific page. Whereas signal one, anytime you have an instance of signal one, you're going to have a connection in the netlist. So this is just a real simple way to do this kind of thing. Again, it's not super convenient, it's not super clear at first either, because you know a lot of traditional CAD programs will just have a listing where you can scroll through from page one to page two to page three. As far as I know, um, there is no way to do that here. This is kind of a little bit of a workaround, a little bit of a hack to do that. So, again, it, uh, it gets the job done, and it allows us to have a quasi-flat schematic. Obviously, there is two layers, but uh, 
it should allow you to, to do what you need to do, especially if you prefer flat over hierarchical schematics. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching.